that say, play another Total War Warhammer Battle Replay. Once again against Shadow Online Gaming. This is uh, game three of our little uh, our little tournament. And uh, so I've brought Clan Angrind and I'm against the Greenskins. So uh, yeah, so rather interesting one. Uh, different build than I you know, normally bring really. Because, um, well, it's Clan Angrind for a start. So I've got Belagar leading the charge and uh, I've got a front line of Longbeards. So, uh, you know, with a bit sturdier, sturdier front line this time. Uh, usually I just go with Dwarf Warriors, um, you know, and a lot of them. But uh, no, I went with long beards this time. Uh, also, I've got Thronny Ironbrow as my Ethereal Runesmith. So, uh, just the one Runesmith this time. You know, I usually like to have a few, but uh, no, just the one. But um, he's Ethereal, so he's going to be really tough to take down. Because, uh, yeah, green skins, they don't have a lot of answers to Ethereal units. So, that'll be good fun. And uh, so, yeah, as well as Belagar here, I've got uh, the Grumbling Guard, keeping everyone fresh. Uh, in case there's a prolonged fight, so uh, that's really useful. And uh, also got some Rangers of Great Weapons and uh, Ulthar's Raiders, which are again, you know, Rangers of Great Weapons. Regiment of Renown, so they've got uh, Mark of Ulthar, which uh, lowers the enemy's mi uh, missile resistance, which is really handy. And also, now I don't think I've ever brought these to a fight, I've got the Iron Drakes with Troll Hammer Torpedoes. So if he brings a giant or anything like that, they can, uh, they can just take him down. So that'll be really fun. So uh, I thought I'd give them a go. Uh, they don't, they're not the most competitive, but they're fun, so screw it. And uh, also I've got the Dragonback Slayers, because uh, they're, they're pretty much a must, much like the, uh, you know, the Grumbling Guard. They're just too useful for chasing down, you know, cavalry or whatever. They're, uh, you know, they're fantastic. They're, they're pretty much the Dwarf's Arts Spearmen, so, you know, it's all good fun. Now, uh, yeah, once again, Shadow's brought a themed army, um, but, yeah, he's going against the Dwarves, so his theme is sort of... Yeah, it's gonna hurt him a lot. <laughs> so he's got, he's brought savage orcs. He's brought a savage orc army, and uh, he went with all biggins. Um, well, mostly biggins. Uh, so he's got a lot of biggins in the front line. He's got some savage orcs on the edges. He's got uh, savage orc arrow boys. Uh, he's brought Wurzag. and uh, he's also got a load of uh, savage orc boy, uh, boar boy biggins. Which um, this isn't really great against dwarves because they're all anti-large units. All the, uh, the you know, the big ones. I mean, they're, they're really tough fighters and everything, but, you know, you're, you're spending a lot of money on, uh, you know, the sort of the anti-large, um, you know, bonuses for them, and you could just have a lot more units. So, because uh, obviously the Savage Orcs, they've got really good, uh, they've got really good attack stats. So, yeah, 38 weapon strength. It's pretty formidable. And, uh, yeah, 41 melee attack. It's pretty good. They're pretty tough. Uh, they can, you know, they can just have a lot of damage, even though it's not armor-piercing. Uh, but they've got that uh, physical resist, which is really handy. So, um, you know, you could easily just swarm dwarves with loads of savage orcs, and you could probably do some pretty substantial damage, you know, you get them surrounded. But, um, yeah, he's got a lot of biggins, which he spent a lot of money on, and I'm not sure that was wise, but this army is really good fun. Um, you know, I love the theme, you know, of proper savage orc army, which is really good, and obviously Wurzag leading the charge, you know, so, uh, you know, the great green prophet that he is. So, that's really fun. So, uh, let's speed things up and see what happens. So, uh, immediately he sends these guys off to one side, um, you know, get ready to flank. Uh, luckily it's on the side, I've got my Dragonback Slayers, but that's a lot of units, that's four units of cavalry, so I'm not going to be able to fight them all off with the Dragonback Slayers. Um, that's going to be tough. So um, I'm going to have to peel off a unit of Longbeards as well. And also, I've got my uh, Rangers facing in that direction, because, uh, yeah, those great weapons, they're going to do serious damage, but they are very short range, so I'm only really, if he charges in, I'm going to be able to get one shot off. Um, so I just have to hope that damage matters, you know? And uh, I do have the troll hammer torpedoes facing their way as well, because uh, those projectiles I'll just tear through pretty much anything. So, um, so here, knowing that my ethereal lord isn't in a, uh, you know, isn't in too much danger. Uh, not ethereal lord, ethereal uh, uh, runesmith. Okay, that's that's annoying, but it didn't do too much damage. Obviously, they got the magic resistance, um, but still. So uh, yeah, so I get a nice uh, rune of wrath and rune on these guys, and uh, just teasing him at this point, <laughs> and then retreating back. So, uh, so that's good fun. So, uh, so, he's absorbing a lot of arrows, but yeah, he's got great um, missile resist with his shield. Uh, he does have a shield, doesn't he? Uh, oh no, he doesn't have a shield. It's just because he's ethereal, he's not taking any damage, so that's good news. So here, I decide to charge in. He uh, he does the same. So uh, he's got a couple in reserve here. Oh no, he's charging them in. So uh, still trying to shoot down uh, Throny. So I'm happy for him to absorb arrows, because it's taking almost no damage. So here, I've got one unit of Longbeards and one unit of Dragonback Slayers trying to hold these guys off. So you see troll hammer torpedoes come in, do a load of damage. Um, so that's really significant. Um, but those slayers got hit a lot. And here comes a big foot of Gork. That hurts. But actually it did way more damage to the Savage Orcs than me. Um, so that's really good news. Uh, it did do a lot of damage to the Longbeards actually. 
Um, but yeah, I didn't have enough guys clustered for that to be really devastating. Um, thank God. But uh, so here, you know, still hit with the troll hummer torpedoes, doing a lot of damage. The slayers have taken a huge amount of damage, but they're still on them, so that's good. So uh, yeah, so that's something. So now I've got these uh, range of great weapons, sort of thrown to the side of these guys because um, they protrude out so much because, you know, he has just got such a bigger army than me. Uh, here it would have probably been really useful for him not to commit all of his front line into my front line, but actually get some guys around the back because he does spare units. So, um, you know, could take advantage of that. And even if he did, like, get that front line out of the way, I would have just been getting, you know, shot in the back while I dealt with whatever he sent behind. So uh, here it tries to charge into my longbeards, but they've got great charge defense. So these Savage Old Boy but with poor boy biggins. Um, yeah, they, they just got broken trying to do that. That was huge. So another spell goes down, does a bit of damage. But um, here, he's actually got Wurzag in melee, which, uh, again, it's a bit of a mistake because I'm able to bully him with uh, with uh, Throny and Belagar, and he does have all these long beards around him. So, yeah, really tough. Yeah, his guys have come back uh, from routing, so that's good news for him. Uh, unfortunately, all his cavalry is pretty much destroyed. Uh, he's got a few, you know, units very damaged around the place. So here, I managed to take out... Um, Wurzag, so real pity, real pity that. And uh, now I'm throwing more axes beside of these guys. Trollhammer torpedoes come in, and uh, yeah, they hate getting shot at by them. I don't know if they actually get penalty for, um, yeah, artillery. It counts as artillery, so that does yeah an extra minus ten to their um, uh, to their morale. So that's huge, actually. That is a really useful tool. So uh, yeah, now I'm just trying to chase all these guys down. Uh, these uh, savage orc arrow boys, they're not bad in melee. They're pretty good in melee. Because, um, you know, at the end of the day, they are Savage Orcs. So, uh, they'll be fairly formidable. But right now, I've got overwhelming numbers, uh, which is bizarre, because, you know, I'm the Dwarves. Um, but yeah, he's just taken huge losses across the board here. So, uh, it's been pretty pretty tough for him. Although, you know, my Slayers have taken a huge beating, and those long beards are really damaged. So are those. So, you know, I haven't been spared completely. So here, he does actually manage to come back in with his uh, Savage Orc uh, Ball Boy Biggins into my uh, rangers, which is dangerous for me. So I throw back some long beards and some drag back slayers, try and get him. But actually, you know, because he'd lost so many units, um, he didn't have the weight of a full charge. So, um, yeah, so all Thal's raiders have only taken about half damage from that. Although, to be fair, that's pretty, still pretty, you know, significant. So if he'd managed to get on them earlier, you know, with, uh, you know, selected little charges from all directions, he could have wiped out my rangers very early on, and he could have wrapped up my uh, iron drakes. But, um, yeah, so close victory. Um, but yeah, so that's a fun one. I love I love the theme of Savage Orcs, but if he'd brought the Savage Orc army against, you know, like any other any other um faction, he would have done a lot better. But going against the dwarves with an army like this, this this is not an army built for dwarves. Um so yeah, massive gamble. But, you know, it's entertaining, and that's the main thing I think. So uh yeah, you can see here, you know, the uh uh Dragonback Slayers, they absolutely made a killing here. Seventy five kills, MVP there. They just killed so much cavalry, and a lot of them, you know, managed to fulfill their Slayer Oath, so uh, you can't really ask for more than that. Uh, also, you know, Throny, he was getting targeted so much, but, you know, he's totally fine. Um, you know, he can still fight for ages, so Ethereal units against the Greenskins, just so, so useful. Um, they just they just soak up so much damage, it's amazing. And, uh, yeah, I mean, although he brought Wurzag, you know, the Orcs don't tend to have a lot of spells that are good for just doing, you know, a lot of damage to one unit. So ethereal units, you know, ethereal heroes, just really, they have a great time against the orcs. And, uh, you know, that's kind of their, their thing, right? You know, coming back to settle old grudges. So um, it's pretty pretty ideal. And, uh, yeah, my long beards, they held the line. Um, took a lot of damage, though. I mean, look at that. They did, got 32 kills, but, you know, they lost as many units. Um, so, yeah, that was uh, that was actually tough. That, that savage orc charge did do a considerable amount of damage. But he, yeah, he didn't spread them out enough. Um, I think that's one mistake Shadow's made um, before. I mean, I made it with the Beastman last, uh, in the last game. I should have tried to surround the Arachnorox. Just like he should have used his overwhelming numbers to surround me. So um, so that's a bit of a pity. Because, yeah, I think uh, I think he could have destroyed my back line really easily. And if he'd got, you know, Slayers caught up on Savage Orcs, um, he could have just run around with his cavalry and just done loads of rear charges into my line. So I think he could have utilised uh, his army a little bit better. But, um, but, yeah, he was definitely a disadvantage having brought Savage Orcs against... Uh, against the dwarves but it was really entertaining um, I really like that again you know great great themed army I do love these so um, yeah so guys um, obviously this is uh, game three of five games in our best of five it's currently 2-1 uh, to me because um, uh, yeah he completely 
just trashed me with his <laughs> insane spider army in the last game, which uh, I hope you all enjoyed that. So, um, but yeah, so uh, we're having two more games, so uh, tomorrow and Friday. So uh, hopefully you'll tune in to see those, and of course you've got to tune in to see Shadow's replays as well, because uh, you can get his perspective on the whole thing. And uh, you know, very good YouTuber. Um, I wouldn't I wouldn't be doing this unless uh, you know unless I thought that. So definitely go check out his channel, and uh, yeah, tell him I sent you. So uh, guys, if you enjoyed this video, comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Have a good day, guys.